Hey everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC. Welcome to Shop Talk. And I'm here today, as always, with my best friend Bob. And I'm here today with Keith, who is always happy. Yes, because I'm with you, Bob. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I don't. Lightning. Yeah. Uh, today we're going to talk about doing something with your. Whether it's a KL series or, or the, the Evolution, Evolution series. Yeah to uh, wean it away from having to have your computers sitting right out there in the shop. Yep. And uh, you told me about this, uh, oh, well, you've been talking about this for oh, a couple of weeks. Right. And uh, so how are we going to do this? So it's something that I've known about for a long time, but I just haven't really had the time to try. But, but really what we're going to do is we're going to take a Bluetooth module. Uh, I like the 8C06, the 05 will work also, but we're just going to, we're going to stick with this one for now. Uh, if you buy it on Amazon, and Keith will give you all the links in this because he's going to be writing a blog about yep. this so that you'll have the details of how to do it. So don't get caught up in all of the exactly everything that we're saying because you're going to have a document that will, will take you there. But if you buy this Bluetooth, uh, we'll be able to connect that to our controller and then we won't need to be connected to our computer. Right. But we With could connect USB. to, our, we could connect to our, our computer with USB or we could get an Android tablet and uh, connect that way. Yep. So uh, uh, I actually connected my KL7 to this 10 inch tablet. Right. 10 inch is a little big for my little fingers, right? So I think I'm gonna try like a seven inch, but my phone was too small because my eyes are old. So I yeah. think maybe a seven inch tablet would work really good. But I connected it to the, uh, the, um, the uh, Bluetooth and it, it works really well. Yes. So if you go out to uh, the GitHub or the Google PlayStation on an Android, you can actually download uh, this gerbil controller. And if you go to his GitHub, he gives you instructions on how to take this module and connect it to Bluetooth so that you can run it on a CNC. However, it's a little bit more complicated uh, his way, but it's less expensive because he's gonna use the uh, Arduino to actually program this so that we can get it set up. I'm going to suggest that uh, you can buy these for about $6 on Amazon. It's just a USB Good. to you serial it, port. I was going to ask yes. you. What, what is that? Yeah. yeah, what is that? And what this will do is you plug this into your computer, uh, you plug this into the Bluetooth, and now you have a serial port connection. Right. Right? Because you have to change the baud rate on this, and we might as well change the password and rename it while we're doing that. So we're going to actually plug this, connect this up correctly. And again, this will be in, in Keith's blog when, when he writes it, hopefully about the same and time we, we publish this. we may do this. a video on it, too. Okay, maybe we'll do a video. Yeah. But uh, you're going to connect these two, going to hook it to your computer. If you open up the Arduino IDE or any other kind of uh, uh, serial communication thing like PuTTY, you'll be able to communicate with this, it is. It's a real program. Well, I'm, I'm I wasn't sure. Making yeah, no, that up, I right? didn't think you were making okay, it up. Yes, you did. You no, I was, I was just thinking, I'm going to have a headache. Okay. There's more stuff I'd have to learn. Yeah, well, yeah. Just I want to make this simple. Yeah, just use the Arduino interface there. Yeah. So when you connect it, you just go to the COM port. You're not going to write a program or anything. Right. You can just open up the serial uh, communications port. And there's some commands. They all are, they're AT commands, but we're going to want to rename it. You're going to want to change the password so that you know, you're secure with your system if, if you're worried about that. And then the most important thing, and really the only thing you have to change, is the baud rate. And so, it's really simple to do. Yeah, when you plug this in, you want it to be blinking. You don't want to connect it to, YouTube, uh, to the Bluetooth at this point because it won't work. So you want to connect it and it's blinking and then you can write these AT commands. Uh, it's AT plus baud. Eight, I think is the right yep. one. Yep. And then we press enter, it'll say okay, that it changed the bod, and then you can disconnect it. Then you can put this in your drawer and never use it again because once it's there, you're, you don't need this anymore. Okay? Is that no, nothing? I was going to say something that would. You were going to be mean, weren't yes, you? Yes, I was. Okay. Well, I, and it, was, it had you been good. Great but no, no. constraint. <laughs> I did. Yeah. It's killing me, Bob. I, I mean okay, where are we at now? Okay, sorry. So we've got that change. The so bond rate yeah. has been adjusted to. Yep. So we have two that are power, you know, yeah. red and black. We're going to hook to power. There's actually two places you can connect. And again, this will be in the blog, but there's a place up here that's got a five volts in the ground. And down here, there's a five volt in the ground. The reason this ground may not work is because some of you use it for a probe. But you can always use the five volts and ground up here. And there's a 
a TX and an RX. TX is transmit, RX is receive. Yep. So your TX on this one will go to your RX on this one, because right. if you transmit, you have to receive here, and if you transmit here, you have to receive. Right. That's it, you're connected. Okay, so now the problem that we have is like this, the, uh, the Arduino is not powered. Normally it's powered by the actual computer. Right. So one thing that we can do is take the USB cord that you have already, and we can get one of these phone chargers and we can just plug it in. So now instead of com uh, plugging this into the computer, you would just plug it into the uh, charger and gives it power. You're gonna notice this starts blinking again now when it's connected. Right. Okay, so if that's happening, you got that right, Okay, you can now, yes, yes sir. Well, no, I was just gonna interject. The reason you're doing this using an outside power source rather than connecting it like you normally do to your computer is uh, <coughs> your um, Arduino will think it's connected to a serial port. Yeah, so if you connect this to your computer for you power, can't use Bluetooth. then it won't connect to Bluetooth because right. it's already so all we're doing computer. is getting power to yeah. that. Yeah, there's also, uh, yeah, that's a good point, Keith, because there's also a, another uh, plug-in. Right. And if you typed in Amazon or eBay Arduino 5-volt power supply and it has this plug on it, you could also use that instead of the charger. Right. And then you would not need a USB connected. Yep. Okay? So now if it's connected and you have power, it's going to be blinking again. Yes. This is where you take your, uh, your tablet or your computer and you do the pairing. Now, if you've changed your password... When you pair, you're going to have to know that password. Uh, if you didn't change the password, the default password when you get these, which you'll see in the documentation, is one two three four, and it's going to connect. I could remember that password. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. <laughs> you I left that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We don't have. Well, yeah, everybody's listening. We can break into the Bob CNC server now. Oh yeah. wait, we don't have one. Okay. Okay. Well, when we do, okay. I got to have something I'm going to remember. There you go. All right, go ahead. Maybe two three four five. No, that's too confusing. Oh, yeah, it would be. You'd always start at one. <laughs> Why won't my password work? Yeah. Anyway, sorry about the digression, but, you know, it's what we do here. Yeah. So, okay, again, we were here. We were connected. Yeah. We're blinking. Yes. As soon as it pairs, it's still going to be blinking. As soon as you go to UGS and now you use that COM port in your computer, the Bluetooth COM port, this should go solid red. If it goes solid red, you're going to see that it's connected and it's going to act just like it would be if you had a USB connection. If you have this program, which uh, I, I played with, I really like, uh, it is a uh, gerbil controller. And uh, if I can remember my password, one, two, three, four. Is it? No. It is right? two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm there is a gerbil controller. It actually has a jog screen and it has, it has all of the things that you need. You might check out this app. It actually runs free, but he does offer a paid version that's like uh, 11 bucks on the Play Store if you like it. Uh, you can support him with that. And then your tablet would be what you would use to control the machine. Or if you're going to use a computer and use its Bluetooth, you could use that. So you can home it. Yeah. You can jog. Yes, you can you do can everything do with that. Now I will say that this... Um, this gerbil controller that he yes. has for the Android app. Sorry, you Apple folks. Well, there's not a solution that I know of. I know. It's just like we're discriminating. Yeah. I feel bad. Yeah. I don't. Oh, I want to say something so bad. <laughs> I know it. Okay. But I know what it is. I won't. Anyway, it doesn't have the uh, pretty pictures, the graphics window. Yes. But uh, I, I don't find that useful anyway for the most part. So for yeah. me, this is a fantastic uh, thing in the shop, except for it's a little big. I want to... My fingers you aren't too big. Smaller. I want to get like a, yeah. Seven inch. Yeah, I did my. You're going to buy me one. Okay, we can do that. I know we can. Okay. <laughs> That's why I, I work here. I don't get paid, but I do get stuff van. every yeah. once in a while. Sticking it to the man. That's all <laughs> he cares about. I get. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get a smaller one. Uh, my phone, my eyes are not very good, so it's hard to see. And this is just too big to handle. You although, really look at that. Look back like I'm doing it, right? Pity angle. Okay, anyway. Yes. So uh, if you guys are interested in this, um, uh, that's kind of an overview. But again, uh, Kristen will put a link to where this blog is so that you can have the full instructions. Uh, and if you have any questions about uh, what's working and what's not working, then uh, you can uh, uh, give us a call. Okay. Now I want to say one, one. Can I say one more thing before well, you say yeah, one more thing? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, for you guys that have Apple and want to do your Bluetooth to Apple, uh, don't buy this one. This one will not work with Apple. Apple has a different Bluetooth interface. Uh, you need an 8C10, 
and then you're kind of on your own because uh, I don't have an Apple. But I'm just that's all I know is is the 8C5 or 6 will, will only work with PC uh, Bluetooth. It will not work with Apple. So anyway, till next time, guys. If you got any questions, get a hold of us at the help desk at BobCNC.com. Thanks.